done, all done. Alright, who's ready to see a motherfucking battle on the count of three? Let's make some noise. One, two, three. Yeah! One out, dog X, you know how we do it. One out's what? Cuts like a knife! Cuts like a knife, motherfuckers. Ah. We're about to get into a very special battle. This is the 50th One Outs Melbourne battle. So it's a bit of a symbolic battle. Hold it down! Hold it down at the back there, please. Whoa. So what better two motherfuckers to get it on for our 50th battle than a little bit of a grudge match. This battle was supposed to happen for whatever reasons. It hasn't happened yet. On my left, we got my boy Hash. Give it up. Yeah. Give it up. Shout out to all my homies locked up at a family dinner. <laughs> all right, and on my right, we got Mason. Give it up for Mason. What's up, Mason, yeah. Melbourne West? Free Charlie Manson, yo. Mason, I'm gonna let you uh, call it, Bo. Uh, heads. It was tails there, G. You go first, Brad. All right, Mason's gonna go first. Hold it down in the back. Let's do it. All right. I will beat this cunt to death. Or to when I say I'm done now, then I'll drag him to a shallow grave. That's just a hole that I dug out. Cause you don't deserve to be saved. You have no soul and you're a cunt mouth. Take one look at his face and you know there's a mole in one out. Oh. So you have to be looking for a handout. There's no way that you might win. Cause your rap doesn't stand out like those dark moles on your light skin. Oh. And while drugs are supposed to get you high, these hash lines be sinking like lead. If I were this guy, I'd spend my nights at home thinking instead. If I were hash, I'd spend my days drinking in bed. Because that shit on your head, has some shit on its head. <laughs> it seems before God made you a bitch but then gave you a dick, he gave your forehead a flick and then sprayed you with shit. I wrap this bitch head to toe in a flavourless spliff because this is Lee vs Tim and I made you with this. Yo, against Barry Bonza, when you paused, forgot your bars, then spit it free like you're an American, I gotta tell you man, that shit to me was just embarrassing. The accents you have and the aspects of rap, there's no comparison, so watch this natural born killer in action and say cheers. Woody Harrelson. Because oh. you ain't a baller or a shot caller. And your ass can't even pick and roll. You ain't known for your bars. You're known for those wicked moles. I'll kick this freaking troll's dick and hold to prove I've got a sicker soul. Because I'm used to facing off with pussies and cunts. Like a stripper's pole. Yeah. Now, I don't want to be corny or cheesy when I say I'll use shells to take the beef straight to your taco hole, see? Or that I'll peel off a piece of his neck meat and make you people a fresh feast of guacamole. Yo, because you're just another rat trying to gain fame in this chase. But your name ain't Mason. And you're a lame ass disgrace. I'll say I'm playing in this place like I'm playing in my ace. It looks like a big piece of crap straight came on your face. Yeah. Oh, give it up for Mace there. Yeah. First round on hash. Yo, this cunt's front like his rhyme's gonna get me high like opium. Yeah, I'm the moly one. I'm fucking laughing at you on the podium. Now, first off, faggot, you're lucky I haven't punched you for having the cheek to say I duck you. I mean, have you even seen your battles, cunt? Fuck you. <laughs> that shit went down in November and I remember because I just stepped in the country. Went to see Barry Battle Mason and he was all dressed funny. The next Sunday we were supposed to battle but Mike got a text from me like, Bro, I'll battle him next event, I'm hungry, still broke from Europe, gotta get money. Mike text suddenly like, no sweat buddy. Then you went and threw your toys out the cot which was especially funny because deep down we all know I got away with it because no one respects Bundys. I mean, how are you going to call some cunt out for ducking and then duck him? And not even be like, fuck him. Instead you fabricate an elaborate story of getting locked up, then it's forced rehab, but he's fronting it turns out to be a family function. I mean, uh, yeah. oh, listen mate, just cause your dad doesn't let you leave the table till you've finished everything on your dinner plate, doesn't mean it's okay to get round saying you've been to prison mate. Cause it isn't eh? I mean basically that's how you graduate from the biggest toy faggot ever 101, which has got to be pretty hard to overcome. And you keep entering battles which is fucking dumb, you're just gonna keep get. You just gotta keep getting reminded in a room full of people that that's some shit that you've done. <laughs> Yo, now let's all point and laugh at the stupid cunt. Second round on Mace. Yo, bro, 
These fists will rearrange your face because that one you've got is not nice. I'll leave him standing there scratching his head like he's got lice. I hate this piece of trash. Love the fact I've got the pot knife because if you're a piece of hash, then I'm a couple hot spot knives. Oh. See, if Barry and Mikey had a dick measuring contest, I bet Hashy would munch the winner. My rap will slap you out of those baggy clothes and into something thinner. See, I'm always harvesting my crops like I feel the crunch of winter because I smoke pieces of hash like you for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. Yo, you would think I'm a vet the way that I attack rookies. I'm the odds on favourite. You best bet I slap bookies. You caught hat surfing the net, getting sweet on some uh, fat wookies. I told him I will break you down, beat you up, then eat you up. Hash cookies. Yeah. Yo, I'll attack this man to attract the fans like it's game day. See Hash's real name? He's Timmy! And he raps in a lame way. And Tim, you're fake and a fool and a failure. You are not making movements. You need to do Tim the Toolman Taylor, stay home and make improvements. Oh. Now in Australia, Tim's new. That much is true. But he's already been in dudes from Tim Boone to Tim Buck too. Oh. So Tim ain't tight at all. And if you think Tim's dope, then you suck too. See, Tim's just a simpleton who loves to suck dudes and loves to duck too. So for Tim, I'll keep this simple. Hey, Tim. Fuck you! Yeah. See, your mother was a bikey broad with a bent spinal cord and vagina warts, right? I can't be around that whore at a time of sports because she's known for bringing ticks to your crotch like some Nike shorts. Oh. Oh. Time, give it up there, give it up there. Yeah. Let's go. Second Yo. round on hash. Yo, he had some pretty awesome hash flips. He's like the name, the fucking name flip kingpin. But I got name flips too, faggot. What the fuck were you thinking, king? <laughs> Hey, hey, you guys want to hear a Mason quote? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sweet. Everybody listen. I'll get your body dripping because I'm in a spa with Jordan and Scotty Pippen. <laughs> First off, what the fuck is this naughty thinking? You're the man, bro. You get half naked with famous men and not with women. <laughs> pretty, yo, I'm pretty sure he likes threesomes, you know, the type that leave Mason blocked. That's why we're not Facebook friends, because Mason's blocked. I'll stroll up Mason's block with a Mason's block. Stop, put it down, because it kind of weighs a lot. Then I, see him, then I see him pick it up, go straight for the running facial rock. I'll knock Mason's block off, even if Mason block. Oh. And Mason block never be around for this faggot, because my shine ain't going to stop. Now I only said that last line because you look a little rangerish. And one minute in front of the sunshine, the burn's crazy. So by the third round, he turns flaky, nerve shaky, blatantly murk sways. It ain't saving this nerd Mason from staying a curtain raisin. Ooh. Yo, I thought it was pretty messed up. Mike said it Mike stole your life, soul, and wits. I mean, I hope he plans on retaining his own skills though, because otherwise it'd be shit. I mean, basically, there's only one thing you'd want from this midget, and that's the doctor prescriptions for the drugs that he's getting. Cause think about it, he always does the most embarrassing shit and keeps coming to kick it. He's like the most uncomfortable dude that seems to be comfortable with it. And when, and when normal people take those types of drugs, it's wicked. Yeah. See this bitch hash thinks that rap is all about jokes and smoking blunts. That's why some of your mates are actually dope, or you're just one of the token cunts. So he calls himself Hash and he says that he's working on plenty of drug raps. But that's a lie, he's hiding at home, jerking off the rug rats. <laughs> see, hip hop was a car, I'd be a mechanic, working on those hubcaps. When I see this worm, this piece of vermin, squirming off the mud flaps. Oh. See, I, I will take the H from in front of your name and stick it in your frickin' arm. Then I'll rip your cock off your body and stick it up your frickin' ass. See, your girlie loves it quick and fast, she's just got into lickin' ass. We call that bitch a two-piece feed, you know why? Grab a breast in one hand, thigh in the other, and leave that box ripped apart. Oh. You're the reason for that shit, and that's the sickest part. Hash has personally seen more cocks in action than a KFC chicken farm. <laughs> now as long as I don't go nuts, and there's no ducks, you won't see me lose. But if Barry Bonza hates coconuts, then I fucking hate kiwi fruits! Oh. See, F's told me to stop being a psycho, and give up the tough guy act. It's not an act. The next cunt that ducks me, like this cunt ducked me, is fucking getting stabbed! Oh. Or sliced and diced in the ass like thin meats. You can't fuck with me, I got bars like King Street or Pentridge Prison, you better let them listen. Hash is just a symbol that is as bent as division. In addition, this bitch called me out six months ago, didn't ya? No. Yeah, you hoped, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you hoped I wouldn't outperform ya. But he was lacking in flow like a couple years ago when we were nearly out of water. Plus he wasn't ready for this heat, like a kid around a sauna. So he tucked his dick between his cheeks and hit around the corner. True fucking story. Now. Even if you smoke crack on a toilet, you couldn't produce this dope shit. So fuck you, Hash, and everything you wrote, bitch. This slaughterhouse rapping, sever his head on some slow shit, then hold it up to the crowd like, put that in your pipes and smoke it. Yeah. Yep. Alright, give it up. Give it up. Yeah. Yeah.
Let him throw you on hash, let's do right, it. Check, check this flip out. <laughs> he said he'd grab my dick off. That's it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't fucking say shit like that in battles, bro. Anyway, want to know why I know you're getting a vagina, man? Because one time in a battle, he told us to call him the vagina chap. What else? And pretty, like, if you guys haven't figured it out, he's the type to not let truth get in the way of a good story. But you know what's really sad, Mace? You've still never told a good story. <laughs> now, it's because you got played out angles and weak ass lines. You're like D-Lar with eat ass freeze and can't write. You're the wackest in the league, ass wipe. Ask Mike. So it's kind of fucked up you choose to battle and say other MCs aren't nice. Because anything coming from you couldn't even be half right. So let me please ask why. All you motherfuckers keep turning a blind eye every time this eat ass lie. I mean, anyone can tell a fib. Me? I got knives. Three Glock 9s, infrared scopes that'll three dot eyes. So when I catch this motherfucker slipping on Queens Park Drive, I do that Steve Pass slide upside his cheap pass ride, let three shots fly, and he gon' die. Woo! Yo. Woo! Yo, then I reach in, take his handicapped parking ticket, cause he's a retard, right? <laughs> then it's free park time! Hey, you see what I did there, Mace? I lied better, rhyme better, style better, trifecta, you're getting burned. I somehow just put out this little piss ass fire with a fire that's bigger. Earn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, give it up for that battle. Yeah. We're going to the judges. Yo, Trilly Tuesdays, we just watched Mason versus Hash. Now, coming into this battle, I predicted Mason to win because of his experience alone. But Hash, like, has definitely stepped his game up a lot more confident and, like, swaggy. Mason's second round, he had a lot of good, like, Tim related uh, lines he was spitting. Damn, I'm spilling my drink. Um, cool story short, gonna give this one to Hash. Just overall, I felt Hash's lines a lot more, and the crowd reacted, I guess, to Hash's lines a lot more as well. Hash. Why do they say long story short? It never makes it shorter. <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, I think. Nice and quick, boys, so that we don't get them restless. Yep. You know, nice and quick. Yeah, Count myself. Go. Yeah, look, I think it was fucking first round. So, oh, mate. Definitely both. Fuck, I've lost names, bro. Mason and Hash. Mason. Yeah, first round went to Mason. And second round, Hash had it. But the third round, yeah, look, had, lo had the whole roll up to the punchline. Ash took a man, third round. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I think, man, but shout outs to Overload Wardrobe, man, but I think um, fucking Mason had it in the first two, and then Hash took the last one, man, but it was a nice battle, man. Mason. One outs, dog acts, you know what's up. That was a dope ass motherfucking battle. Shout to Oz Hip Hop Shop. And the winner of that battle was my boy Hash. Yeah. Shout out to all my boys locked up in family functions till I see you again, homie. <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs>